What's up, my G's, my King's, my Queen's? Today we have a high skin fade, but this is more of a crop top style. You feel me? Uh, first thing we're gonna do is grab our trimmers right here. I'm using my Andy Slimline Pros, and I'm just starting at that corner. Mind you, this is a high skin fade, so we do not want the hooks to show at all. We want that to disappear. You feel me? We want that to disappear into the fade. And then after that, you just turn him around and you do the exact same thing on the other side at the exact same place, y'all. This will ensure that your fade is going to be even on both sides and in the back as well. You don't want one side of the fade to be higher than the other because that's not a good look, my Gs. It's not at all. After you do all that and you connect it to the back, you're just going to want to take care of all of that. Remove all that hair with the same trim as you did to remove your guideline. Next thing guys is our foil shavers. Right here I'm using my Andes Lithium Pro foil shavers. These were really good. I really like them. Uh, one thing I can give you about this, best piece of advice, be very very light with these. You do not want to create a line with these and then you're going to have trouble with the rest of the haircut trying to take this line out. Be very light and scoop out at the top. Please do that. So you want to repeat the same steps on the sides and behind the ear as well. I'm telling you, the only way you can remove a line caused by this machine is with a straight razor or with the same machine. You do not want to go through these troubles, you feel me? Bit of advice for y'all. <laughs> Next thing, guys, is we're going with our no guard open. You want to create about an inch of a guy line from the front to the back or the back to the front doesn't matter but you do want to give yourself enough room to blend in from that trimmer up to that no guard open that's why i like to give myself an inch of a guideline in order to blend all that out after you do all that guys you're going to want to move your trigger or your lever halfway closed when you move it halfway closed like you see right now you're going to want to do the same steps but right below where you did that no guard open and then once you do that you're going to start seeing that the line is going to start slowly 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 softening up it's going to start disappearing once you do that you're going to go with your no guard closed and that's when you really start attacking at the line but make sure to be light with this as well you want to be really light you want to scoop out in that c cup motion you don't really see it here because i'm telling you it's such a little movement you're going to start seeing that line disappear right here you see like it's that simple it's really that simple you're going to do the same steps on the back the other side as well i'm going to show you that as well but if you still see a little bit of a line Hit it with your corners the way I am. I'm just hitting it with my corner right here, trying to make sure that the line is disappearing. You can already tell this skin fade is about to be so crispy, so good. Like, I'm so excited that I'm showing y'all this because y'all are my family. All, all of y'all who are watching this, y'all my family. Y'all supported me. And the best thing I could do to y'all right now for y'all is to give you as much content as I can for free. It doesn't matter. I'm not in this game for some bread. I'm in it because I'm trying to help other people. When I was in the same situation as y'all, I wanted someone to really break shit down. You know, I really wanted more videos for more people to help me out in so many different ways, but I just didn't have that opportunity. But I'm here to chase that. I'm here to show y'all. I'm here for y'all. You feel me? Like I said, you do the same exact guideline on the other side. And then you go to your no guard halfway closed. And you just go right underneath where you did that first guideline. And then you go to your no guard closed. And you just attack that line. And you, I promise y'all, be late. Use that C cup motion at the top, at the end of your stroke. So that way you won't create any lines. Because you're blending into that no guard open you're not going from no guard closed to no guard open so because you're scooping into that larger i want to say that larger length of hair the light the probability of you guys creating a new line is lower i'm not going to say you're not going to create a new line depending on how you're cutting hair but it's lower and like i've said myself I've tried a whole bunch of different techniques, a whole bunch of different techniques on how to fade, but this actually stuck with me the most. This was probably the easiest way to fade, in my opinion, in my personal experience, in my own struggles. I'm telling you, bro, the first year of me cutting hair, I was out here messing people up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking about myself. 
Right here, we got Clipper over Comb. We're just trying to take care of as much bulk as we can, and we're also trying to give his hairstyle a little bit more shape. We just want to create that Bosch type shape, and at the end, I really actually just make it a little bit more curved in because he doesn't like the box of shape this is an exception on when you don't do that box shape but right here i got my one and a half guard closed and i'm just going out about another inch this is my next guideline i'm just going up about an inch because you're gonna see i'm gonna grab my one and a half and i'm gonna do the exact same steps i did from before i'm just gonna grab my one and a half open and i'm gonna go all the way up to where i did my one and a half closed and then i'm gonna slowly keep closing my lever from there progressively closing my lever as i keep getting closer to that line and then you're gonna see right here i'm going to move my lever to halfway close right here and i'm moving it right below where i did that uh one guard open you see how that line is just softening up and then you're gonna see i'm gonna move it as well to my no guard close right now it's actually no uh, one guard close right now and that, that line completely disappeared i did not even have to use my 16th guard i didn't even have to use that yo you feel me sometimes you can get away with that sometimes you can't it depends on how you how your strokes are <laughs> it depends on how you cut you feel me that's all it is y'all be gentle with the haircuts y'all it's gonna save you so much time don't be too rough treat this like your shorty you feel me treat this like your shorty because you better have the best time of your life the best experience if you're just gentle same thing with the other side y'all i'm just going to show it to y'all because you deserve it i know when i was looking for videos and then show the other side i was like yo 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 but i'm going to show it to you guys same thing goes you just go with clipper over comb and then you go with that one and a half bar you wake about an inch of a guideline and the same process repeats you go with that one guard open and then you slowly progressively look move it to one guard closed you slowly progressively move it down as soon as you get closer to that line you feel me and sometimes you might not even need that 16th guard it all depends on how you cut hair it all depends on the client as well you feel me but let's say that did not remove the line right let's say that one guard alone didn't remove the line what you could do then is you could grab your 1 16th guard and do the same process you did with your one guard open to close and if you have to use your corners as well it's not that hard y'all don't make it too complicated than what it is and if you don't see it in this video looking back at all my other videos when i couldn't take that line out with what just my one guard alone it's the same process y'all do it in the back as well make sure that it is blended as much as you can sometimes it might not look super blended depending on the client's hair as well depending on their head shape as well next thing you guys want to do is you gotta want to dampen his hair a little bit with some water i said a little bit but it looked like a lot but like i said just damp it up a little bit so that way when you start going in with the scissors it'll be so much easier to cut my technique right here for the scissors is i'm actually pinpoint cutting i'm not doing the traditional straight across the reason why i'm pinpoint cutting and cutting every other hair when i pinpoint cut is because i want him to end up having some texture on the top i actually want him to have a lot of texture on the top because his hair is straight you feel me i want him to look good <laughs> in my opinion i feel like people with straight hair tend to look a lot nicer with some texture on top some people might not like it, I always offer it, but it's all good. With this texture, it's gonna make it look like he has that spike, spiky look, like he just woke up out of bed. And with this haircut, actually, as opposed to the last haircut I've given, given him before, where he had a comb over, you can wake up and not even style your hair. You know how great that is for some people? Wake up, not even style your hair because you're too lazy? Or because you just don't want to or because you just don't want to put in the time and this is the best type of haircut if you can pull it off like you said i'm just pinpointing like i said actually i'm just pinpoint cutting all around just making sure he has some texture in his hair it did take me a while though to try to perfect this technique as much as i can you know with everything in life it's just 
practice. Do not feel down in the dumps if you cannot do a specific thing. Just keep doing it even after every single time that you feel like you failed. Eventually, y'all, I promise y'all, it's going to come in. You're going to be like, yo, I came such a long ass way from nothing, from this. And remember, take pictures, take footage, do whatever it is to record all your haircuts. Because down the line, you're going to get better. And you're going to look back at when a time where you just could not be as good as you thought you could. That's the motivation that's going to get you to be even greater than when you're already great. Right here, y'all. Sorry for my rambling, but I'm just straightening up the backside of his beard, just making that straight. And then on the other side, you had to do the same. Right here, I'm just prepping his hairline because who doesn't want a crispy hairline? We want to take care of all the hairs on the top, pin it down with the comb and a pin. And then you just want to work from the middle all the way to the side. Reason why you want to do this, guys, it's because you want to ensure that the hairline is even. You do not want one side of the hairline to be higher than the other one. You're going to have the soldier boy. And when you get to the crib, you're going to want to fight the mirror. <laughs> and for the corner over here, I just make sure to use my corners of the trimmer. Because the best part of the hairline is the corners you want to make sure that it's super crispy super pointy and that honestly is the best part of erica the lineup if the lineup is there you're gonna have such a great experience at the shop i'm not saying that the fade isn't important but usually that lineup if finessed it could always save a haircut no matter how the fade looks no matter how anything else looks you feel me but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be well balanced Working on the other side, you're going to see I'm doing the same thing. I'm just removing all the extra long hairs from the top and I'm pushing it up so that way I can work with the little baby hairs on his line up. Be careful. Try to not push him too back. Try to not to push him too far back, guys. I'm telling you, I'm repeating this because I've been there. I've done that. It sucks when you do and then they're going to have the Vegeta hairline. You do not want to give him the Vegeta hairline. <laughs> you do not want to do that, I promise y'all. Someone is gonna hate it, and then you're gonna have to square up with them. <laughs> you know? But that's just how I'm feeling. I just try to be as steady as I can with whatever I have. Look at that fade though. Look at that nice fade though. <laughs> Look at that nice fade. I'm just showing a little bit of the beard work. I'm not going to show it completely, but I'm just showing how I do the middle part. I'm using my corners, and I always use my trimmer as if it was a pencil. And when you do this, when you think of your trimmers as a pencil, it'll be easier for you guys to start designing. It'll be easier for you guys to start adding some shape into a haircut, into a shape up, into a design, whatever it is. That's all it is. Once you start realizing that, all your haircuts are gonna come out so much crispier. I'm doing the lineup on the beard right now and I'm going from the top to the bottom. And you're gonna notice all my positionings are a little bit different, you know? From the right side to the left side, it's not completely the same. Because as a barber, you have to, to work in different angles. You gotta work in different situations. Let's say one day you're cutting hair at the crib, bro. It's not the same as cutting hair at the barber shop. You gotta adjust, you gotta adapt. That's the art of barbering. You gotta adapt to different situations, different trends as sad as I'm saying it. You just gotta adapt to different hairstyles as well in order to be a good or perfect. I don't, I don't wanna even say perfect. To be a good balanced barber. Cause my weakness is still working with 4C type haircuts. With an afro, with anything like that. You feel me? That's still my weakness. That's my weak point. 
when it comes to straight hair when it comes to a little bit curly hair when it comes to everything but that for a c type haircut i start to get a little bit nervous because i don't um that's not my forte that's not my strong point <laughs> and for me to be that balanced barber that i want to become i just got to keep cutting that type of hair i just got to keep working through my trials through my errors in order to become the best barber i can be and as a barber, I feel like that's all our mission, that's all our dream is to become, to be the best barber you can be, to help as many people as you can, to make as many people as you can look good as well. This is a service. This is a service that I like to provide. Working on to our beard. From the bottom, we're working from the corner and we're just going straight across. It's not across the jawline. Please don't ever do it across the jawline unless they ask for it whenever anyone asks me for a lineup from the beard straight across the jawline i tend to dub it the reason why i tend to dub it is because it'll look like you have a double chin your beard will not look full but regardless if i even try to talk to them out of it if they still want it, I'm going to give it to them. That's what they want, and I'm going to give it to them. You feel me? This is a service that people are paying you for. Whatever they want goes. But if you have any suggestions, any recommendations, say it. Because that's all it is. A lot of people don't even know what kind of haircut they had. They don't know the name of it. They don't know any better. Because they just let the barber rock sometimes. Or they just don't want to change as a barber, I feel like you should really just tell them what would look good. And as far as the experience goes, you're seeing it right now. I'm giving him a hot towel. I'm giving him a hot massage with the Babylist. Facial massager, hand massager. And this is all an experience. Not a lot of people get to experience this. And it's nice for a change. Because a lot of people don't want to be in the barbershop quick and out. You know, they. this is their chill time. This is where they come to be, whatever they want to be, you know? I always like to think of the barbershop as a safe haven where you could just be you. You could talk to your client, you could talk to your barbers, you could talk to the other clients and just be you and have a whole conversation. And if you can't do that at your barbershop, switch your barbershops, bro. Because it, I feel like personally, all my clients are like my family, bro. I feel like all my clients are my family. I talk to them. I try to reach out to them from here and there. You know, it's all an experience. Next thing y'all want to want to do is the lineup. The lineup it's so 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 important y'all i cannot stress this enough for a couple different reasons first of all when you're doing a lineup you want to make sure you do not cut them a great haircut is always going to be ruined with a couple of cuts remember that if you're cutting people on a consistent basis then work on that that's your weak point and you see right here i'm trimming I'm, I'm lining him up with the razor and i'm going at different directions i'm going in different angles i'm going at all the angles i have to go at in order to make him look good doesn't mean you have to be sacrificing your posture you gotta be sacrificing your your health in order to make them look good but you gotta adapt to different situations you gotta make sure you can maneuver the blade you can maneuver everything and don't get upset don't get frustrated if you can't do it right now it'll all come with experience the more haircuts y'all do the better you guys are going to get i've been there in the beginning i've done that in the beginning where i just did not want to fucking cut hair because i knew i was going to mess up and that's a fact i knew i was going to mess up because i did mess up but i'm telling you the more practice you get the better you'll get don't get discouraged we've all been there i've been there as good or as bad as my cuts are right now i've been there where people left my chair and they were not satisfied keep your head up kings keep your head up my g's my kings my queens because we're all growing you're gonna keep watching me grow too the same way you guys are gonna keep going y'all my family y'all my supporters i'm gonna be y'all supporters too 
damn he looks like he's knocked <laughs> he looks like he's knocked this is probably my favorite part of the haircut where i'm lining them up and they're just knocked they're just asleep you know that's a, that's a good haircut people just wake up off the chair just relax like they're a king like they're a prince that's my mission in this to make everyone that leaves my chair feel good you know and you're seeing with every stroke I do with the blade you're seeing I'm pulling the skin I'm being super careful and I'm being very gentle I'm not digging into his face I'm not digging into his neck because I do not want to cut him you want to be as gentle as you can especially with the razor and in order to ensure that you got to be taking proper precautions like giving him a hot towel giving him some really lubricated um shaving gel you know right here all i'm doing is just fading in that beard and i'm just reverse fading upwards i'm starting with my no guard closed and then i'm gonna go with my no guard open and then my no guard halfway closed and that's all it is and right here i just got a little bit of detail work my two guard open and i'm slowly gonna keep closing it down in order so i can take that line out you see i just closed it right here and it's just disappearing it's just making that line go away because at the end of the day this is a really gradient fade it's not a short fade it's a really long progressive fade and with the clipper over comb you're just giving it a little bit of shape a little bit of shape you see, that's all it is, guys. That's all it is. My boy is looking crispy right now. My boy is looking cut. Before you let him out the chair, y'all, please clean up his neck hairs. You don't want him to go out with a crispy ass cut and some wild neck hairs. <laughs> I really hope y'all enjoyed this cut. I really hope y'all found something in this video that helped you out. At the end of the day, I'm just trying to help y'all out. Because I feel like someone could have helped me out when I was struggling. But anyway, I really hope y'all enjoyed the haircut. This was the haircut, y'all. I appreciate y'all watching this. Stay up, my G's. Stay blessed. Let me know if y'all liked it, all right? That's nice, so. <laughs> rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up. She got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up. I got some gas, some packs. I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up. I'm with the gang. We take Shots off the rebound, fucking my post the same now. I've been humble too long, yeah. Tell them all to stay calm, yeah.